Hey, Retcon Raider here. Today's video is dedicated to two of my agents, Valen Rook and Rowan Church. Thanks for your support, guys. That said, let's get started. Fender told me Aguirre and his people were DIA agents running an op to flush out some former Nazi weapon smuggler. I told him Aguirre was rotten, but he isn't willing to believe me unless I present some evidence. That's fair enough. We need to crack Leslie's intel ASAP if we are to get out of this mess alive. And welcome back to episode 6. Well, things have really hit the fan since our run-in with Aguirre. If we want to clear our names, we need to learn more about his smuggling ring, and we also need to purchase specialized equipment so we can actually read the microfilm we recovered from Leslie's body. Now, we'll be getting started on that in just a moment, but first, say hello to our newest recruit. Solomon Rook, codename Random. Former Gladio, speaks three languages, training in contact tactics, which gives him proficiencies with low-tier automatic weapons, and one mystery perk, which, as usual, can be good or bad. Welcome aboard, Random. Now, let's see what we can actually do about this Aguirre situation. First of all, you'll notice that we now have access to several new tech upgrades. There are a lot of good options here, but I think we need to prioritize this one. Better cash flow. We can't afford it at the moment, but we'll pick it up as soon as possible. Then we'll have to prioritize this one, microfilm cleanup equipment. Not only is it required to continue the story, but it also unlocks a second disguise slot, which is a pretty incredible upgrade. Let's get back out to the world map. Okay, first of all, there's that new recon job in Aleppo. We'll have Deadpan handle it personally. Well, that was quick. We searched Aguirre's safe house in Aleppo extensively. Our people found crates and waybills indicating the nuclear smuggling ring moved some of the merchandise through Kabul. If we could spare some agents to investigate Kabul thoroughly, we might learn more about the smuggling ring activities and gain more proof to present to Fender. Looks like that unlocked two new points of interest one in Baghdad and the other in Kabul. Given what we just read, we'll obviously start with the one in Kabul. Again, we'll have Deadpan handle this one personally, but let's send Random in to back him up. We'll also send two agents to check out Baghdad, and uh, we're good to go. Baghdad's clear. Now we're off to Tripoli. Hmm. Takuma reports feeling tired and ill, and wants to take some time off. Well, that's not good. Alright, um, it could be nothing, but given our line of work, we can't be too careful, so let's spring for a full medical exam. Agent lost 40 hit points as a result of your decision. Geez, what kind of exam was that? Well, it'll take him time to recover, but we'll just have to hope we made the right decision. We've got an informant in Tripoli. Nice. Ooh, and more intel from Algiers. Right off the bat, we've got a link to High Society. Oh, and uh, we've also got a link to Golf Course. Well, that was uh, easier than expected. Looks like that gets us a couple of new training options, and it also gets us another agent candidate. Though, obviously, we can't actually afford any of this at the moment. It also tells us that High Society is a code word for the GRU, which I think is Russian intelligence. I'd have to double check that, though. Let's have a look at that new recruit. Another former Gladio operative. He's got the Freediver perk, which isn't great, but he also has two secret perks. 
I'll have to think about that one. We should really be saving our money anyway. Alright, we need to check out Odessa. Let's send out Aquino, Seth, and uh, Chameleon this time. And another informant. Oh, looks like we're done in Kabul. And it looks like Random got a level up. Nice. Okay, let's see what we got. New secret file. CIA Special Concepts Division. Interesting. Overview. Non-lethal sonic weaponry employed for long-term damage of senses of hearing and balance. Description. Special Concepts Division developed a magnetic device that can project a beam of high-frequency sound. While the signal is outside of the hearing range of humans, it still affects the inner ear, causing nausea, dizziness, loss of balance, and long-term hearing loss. Test deployments include harassment of calamari operatives over a period of eight weeks. Redacted later reported on the attacks in internal communications. Hmm. I'm not sure if that's a real-world reference, but it certainly sounds plausible. A collection of top-secret documents describing the technology developed by the CIA's Special Concepts Division, a top-secret branch of the agency tasked with conducting black research and experiments. Apparently, a lot of this technology is currently used by beholder operatives worldwide. Okay, let's take care of that level up. Oh, and uh, let's take a look at our heat levels, too. Not bad. Alright, so let's pick Random's new perk. I'm not seeing a lot of good options, but I think combat awareness is the obvious choice here. We also got some new training options, so let's take a quick look at those. Looks like fire and move tactics comes with exertion. That's a pretty solid ability. Opportunist isn't bad either, but it's very subjective. Covert Ops comes with Example Made, which is a pretty good passive perk. I'd say the revolver training is a bigger draw, though. Not that it really matters, I suppose. We need to focus all of our resources on those tech upgrades at the moment. Speaking of which, let's get started on improving our cash flow. This will put us pretty close to bankruptcy, but it's a long-term investment. Okay, back to work. We've discovered a rare cancer type in an early stage, and we're able to cure Takuma effectively. Well, that's good news. We probably would have lost him if we had left that untreated. There we go. We've got an enemy recon team in Karachi. Looks like Deadpan and Random are already on site, so we'll have them handle the counter-surveillance. All clear in Algiers. Now we wait. Oh, very nice. Looks like Deadpan just went up a level. Let's take care of that, and uh, then we'll take care of that surveillance team. Now, we'll have to ignore the training slot for now, but we can pick a new perk. And, looking at our options here, I think our best bet is Composure. Awareness is one of the most important attributes in the game, so faster awareness regen is always a good thing. Okay, let's take out that recon team. Now let's see here.
Chameleon's healed up, and uh, his heat is reasonable, so let's get him out there. Hmm. Normally, we'd send Takuma to knock out the enemy agent, but unfortunately, he's still recovering. I guess we'll have to send Deadpan instead. Since he has the higher hit point total, we'll send him in undercover. That should make things a little easier. Chameleon, on the other hand, will be our armed backup. He won't have the same freedom of movement as Deadpan, but he will still be able to help us eliminate guards and dispose of bodies. We'll just have to be a little more careful with him this time around. Okay, that should do it. Let's get our support team set up, and we should be ready to go. Alright, good luck, agents. Not that I actually think you'll need it. Operation Fearsome Landslide. This is one of the most basic mission types, so I'm not really anticipating any significant difficulty here. Alright, let's have a look around. Looks like we're at a used car lot again. Okay, so that's the civilian offices there, and uh, that's the car showroom. There's some intel. There's another entrance point, but let's find that camera terminal before we do anything else. There it is. Looks like they've got a security office out front. There's a safe, but otherwise the second floor looks pretty clear. Oh, <laughs> well, we've got another weapons locker out on the roof. Strange, but I won't question it. Hmm, the enemy agent is on the third floor. That means we'll have to go through the whole building to get to him. There's some more intel. There's also no windows in here, so our spotter won't be able to see him. We can get a pretty good look at the second floor hallway and all along the rooftop, so we'll probably set our lookout to the north. Let's get started. Lone enemy operative. Eliminate or capture. Keep it quiet, if possible. Looks like we started right next to a save. That's convenient. Hmm. Bone Crushers. That's an ammunition upgrade. Slows down enemy movement. Alright, let's see here. Alright, let's grab that intel and uh, then we'll head upstairs. What can I do for you? As for Chameleon, ooh, he's got a lot of enemies in sight. Looks like it's mostly Pakistani policemen, but we do have one armed guard on the second floor. Well, we are on public property, so let's start heading for that security booth. Hey, 
Hey, yeah. Okay, let's grab that intel. Oh, shoot. I guess I should have checked the facing before I moved. Well, that gives Chameleon more time to get to that camera terminal. Huh. He'll also be moving right past this rooftop access here. That's convenient, but it might be too risky. Let's stay focused on the terminal for now. Still, good to have options. Ah, there is a guard in the security booth. Well, we'll deal with that in a second. I'm here. Let's have Deadpan grab this intel and then he can start heading for the stairs. Let's just make sure we're not missing anything here. Oh, we uh, do still have that weapons locker on the roof. Let's take a slight detour and head for this ladder instead. What can I do for you? All right, now. Chameleon's in a pretty tough spot here. He needs to shut down those cameras, but he's got a guard right in his way. He's also completely surrounded by civilian law enforcement. Hmm. Actually, it looks like they're all headed away from the security booth. We might actually be able to pull this off. Yeah. All right, Chameleon, do your thing. Don't worry, that's one of the bad guys. Okay, let's see if this worked. So far, so good. Very nice. Uh -huh. Alright, let's dispose of that body and uh, then we can shut down those cameras. But of course. You're clear to proceed, Deadpan. Now we'll just wait outside for a turn, and uh, we'll grab that locker next turn. Uh huh. And of course, we'll have Deadpan start heading for that other weapon locker. Okay, let's see what we got. There's an M10. That's a tier 3 submachine gun. I'm all ears. Looks like Rowan's clear, too. And he just found an LMG 26. Not bad. Now let's see if we can get Rowan upstairs, too. Oh, that stairway should work.
Okay, now, there was a safe here somewhere. There it is. Oh, and uh, we've got this guard out in the hall, too. I'm not seeing anyone else around, so we can probably take that guy out without drawing any attention. Lay it on me. And Chameleon. Let's get him upstairs. We just have to make sure he's not actually spotted once he gets up there. We've got a body to get rid of, and then we can go for that save. In fact, let's have Chameleon head for that safe, too. We just have to make sure there's no one in this office first. Looks clear, but Deadpan can double-check it next turn. Yeah, there could still be a civilian behind that desk there. Alright, room's clear. Let's bring Chameleon in and pick this lock. Now we'll have Deadpan scout this room out. Oh, good thing, too. That civilian is staring right at the door. Oh, we've uh, got a grenadier, too. Well, that's slightly problematic, but nothing to worry about just yet. Hmm. Alright, let's have Chameleon start heading for the third floor. Light armor. What a waste. Don't get me wrong, light armor can be useful in open assault missions where you don't need to keep a low profile, but those are pretty rare. Anyway, let's scout out the rooftop. We do have this convenient ladder access, but we don't want Chameleon to get spotted by anyone down on the street. Yeah, see, we've got a lot of people down in the street. Now, I could take out that Grenadier, but if we take out any more guards, the enemy agent will start getting suspicious. Let's just head for the rooftop instead. 
This might be a little too risky. We could have a guard wandering back and forth up there. Let's have our spotter take a look. Okay, looks partially clear. Let's go for it. All right, looks clear. And there's the enemy agent. Ooh, almost spotted us too. Too tough for Chameleon. We'll have to bring Deadpan up there. Agent Ragdoll. Tough, but no perks that are really going to help her here. Hey, uh. More importantly, Chameleon just told us what direction not to approach from. Let's uh, head for the stairs instead. Then we can get her from her blind side. We've also got that intel in there. We'll have to remember to grab that before we leave. Ooh, two civilians. That's going to make this tricky. Okay, I think I know how we can do this. Let's go ahead and call in our evac now. We'll have it show up over here. Exville incoming. That way we can go right out the second story window. Hey. Uh. Well, hello. Let's see where those civilians are headed. Ooh, that one's on the move now. That's fine. We can still handle this. First, we'll have Deadpan take out Agent Ragdoll. Mission target incapacitated. Copy team. Now we'll have Chameleon subdue that civilian. Uh, let's grab that intel. Let's cook it. Well, hello. Now, we do have one more civilian, but there are no more witnesses, so we can really just knock her out, no problem. Yeah, we could try to clear the room, but I don't think we have enough time. Sorry, ma'am. Okay, let's get out of here. What can I do for you?
we should have a pretty straight shot to our evac zone. All we have to do is head downstairs, take out that grenadier, and then jump out the window to the van that's waiting for us. We're pretty much home free at this point. The only way it could go wrong is if Rowan gets spotted carrying that body. Lay it on me. Hey ya. Let's see if we can get eyes on that grenadier. Well, that's convenient. <laughs> um, don't mind me. Just replacing the window. Man, I almost feel bad shooting her. She actually looks pretty amused at what just happened. Sorry, just business. Alright, let's get rid of this body just in case, and uh, we'll go out the window next turn. Actually, let's get Deadpan out there now. We should make sure there aren't any policemen nearby. What can I do for you? Looks clear. I'm all ears. Let's uh go ahead and bring Chameleon out too. Even if we get spotted at this point, we can still leave back next turn. Well, that uh, went pretty smoothly. Nice work, guys. We're done here. Stick a fork in us. We're done. Another clean sweep. Enemy agent captured. All loot acquired. Okay, so we got Bone Crushers. That's somewhat useful, but not great. We also picked up an M10 and an LMG26. Those are both good finds, but I'm a little worried we're not going to be able to keep up with this arms escalation. We haven't been spending much time training. Then we got a trade contract for a lower tier machine gun, and some intel for our latest secret document. All things considered, not a bad haul. No level ups, but that's not surprising. Deadpan did just gain a level. Oh, and we also got a trade contact for boosters. That's basically the item equivalent of that mobility perk that Knight has. That's pretty nice. Anyway, we're well past the 30 minute mark at this point, so let's go ahead and pause things for now. We'll pick up here next time as we take a look at those documents and hopefully save up enough money for that next upgrade we need. See you then. Oh, and remember, although I do love playing Phantom Doctrine, 
You can find out more about the game by visiting the official website, the official YouTube channel, or the store pages on Steam or GOG. Links are in the description.